Hi there, in this video I want to show you how to get lots and lots of views on your YouTube channel and that's using a 90 day challenge and also at the end I want to tell you something really important that I learned along the way. So this 90 day challenge was something I learned from Miles Beckler who started this just over a year ago. The date now is November 2017 and he started this in August 2016, so maybe 15 months ago. At first he got no views and no, no minutes watched. I'm actually looking here at the minutes watched. And then by December he'd already got 2,239 minutes watched a day. And then if we come over to here, this is a year later. So by August 19th, 2017, which is a year after he started, he was getting more than a million minutes watched a day and hear the views, then in three months he got nearly half a million views. And you can just compare this, this is when he started this red line, and this is after one year, this blue line. And if you divide this by three, this is three months, then he's getting more than a million minutes watched a month. So that's what inspired me to try this. Also because I studied internet and working on internet in 1995 in Taiwan and I've had certain success with it. I had at one time over a thousand websites and that was using SEO, it was very early days and you could really just put in keywords and get to the top. But it doesn't work anymore, there's just so much competition. And also now on Google there's all this advertising at the top that even if you get to number one you're not really number one, you're about number four or five. So I just don't think SEO is worth it anymore. And I didn't get that much um, success really using Facebook and Twitter. I just found that it stayed steady. I got a certain number on my website that I've got. I got a certain number of people and then it just stayed steady at that. It just didn't seem to start increasing. So that's what inspired me to do it. And also I looked at another guy who did this 90 day challenge. And this is a guy, Jay Burnham. He started in March this year, which is about eight or nine months ago. And I just looked a bit more at his videos here. So he started making videos about the middle of 2016, but he only made six or seven in a year. And then this one here, his eighth video, he decided to do this 30 day challenge. And since then I looked after five months and he was doing one a day, he'd done one a day. I didn't check now how many he's done, but I looked also after five months. So it was about two months ago I looked and he had seven videos that had got over a thousand views each. And I just look now and he's now got 16 videos or sorry, 18 videos with more than a thousand views. So it's certainly working for him and this all inspired me to do it. So I started this channel blog visuals and if you can see here, I started in September. This, this blip here is where I was checking everything out. So this is not real. But if you then see here, then I'm getting about three hours of video watched a day. So I'm pretty impressed with that. That's, I did 50 videos here. And this is when I want to bring in my big advice. I studied blog visuals and it was all about using videos and images to boost your marketing. But I really should have done something I was more passionate about. I've been doing images and stock photos for three or four years, but my passion really is about working and traveling. I've been doing that for 27 years. So I found after 50 videos on blog visuals, I couldn't really think of other videos to make. I was getting a bit stuck and I was having to learn more to make the videos. Whereas if I talk about traveling and working online while traveling, then I just put down some ideas and I've already got nearly 300 ideas of videos to make. And I, could, I just think of them, I'm driving around, I'm in Phuket at the moment. Sometimes I'm driving around and I just think of a video to make. Uh, every day three or four videos I can think of, think of making. So really, really 
choose your passion because this is a long-term game it's not something that you just do for a few months and then turn it off and everything's working it's something that you can build on and build on and I think the subject needs to be wide enough so for me traveling and working online is such a big topic that I can talk about what in what inspired me and what what might inspire you to travel I can talk about practical tips about traveling practical things about working online emotional things about being away from your home country just so many things about the food about what to see about where to go and that's why I'm passionate about it and it's easy for me to talk about and that that's the big tip I would give don't don't just think about a little bit I thought about okay this will be more useful for people telling people about how to make videos but I didn't think about what was my passion and that's why after 50 videos I've actually started this new channel so that's the tip there so I really recommend doing this a 90 day challenge and have a look at Miles Beckler's website do a search on on his website if you do a search for uh, Miles Beckler and, and then put the word challenge in there and you can just see the results as you went along and I really think this is the way to go compared with other other ways of getting traffic then I really th this is the way I'm doing it now I hope you found that useful if you did please give this video a thumbs up because that'll help other people to see it if you've got any questions or comments please put them down below especially any questions about traveling and working online and about this 90 day challenge then please put them below and if it interests you to work online and to travel and work online I think it's a great life it's it's been my life for 27 years now since 1990 then if that interests you please subscribe to my channel so thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one